And that's why I don't use the bar to break the damn the binder. I'm not gonna stick it up here and try to break it because I won't be able to handle the recoil when it pops up. I could try to put it under like this. I could try to do it like that, but I can't get any leverage. Maybe if I had a piece of wood or something, I could get some leverage. So that's why I don't use the bar. Or I could just hit it like that and try to beat it off. But that's a slow process. So that's why I put my hand under the binder like this. I don't have a glove on right now because I'm just showing you. I put my hand under it and my thumb is out. So when I lift it straight up in the air, it doesn't slap, it doesn't, it don't slap my hand. So I just lift it up right here and it goes straight back and it doesn't hit my hand or my thumb. So that's why I don't use the bar to break it. Because if I stuck the bar on and tried to lift it up, I couldn't handle the recoil and the recoil will probably hit me in my damn face. It might knock my teeth out, it might break my glasses. So I, my hand under, thumb out, and my head well away from the recoil. So that's why I do it the way I do. That's the way I do it. And if you ask me, that's the safest way to do it. Do not try to break it with the bar, unless you can beat it with the bar. But don't try to hold that bar and break it because the recoil from that bar, boom, it's gonna knock the shit out of you. You don't want that to happen.